Hey everybody, this is Mike with Homegrown Productions coming at you with some more Flood gameplay. Uh, this time here I am starting off as the Flood and I am using thrusters right off the bat. Uh, if you saw the last video, um, I did make a pretty good use of them. This is a little bit later in the night, uh, I had a better feel for them. Also uh, making another appearance is my buddy Mouse. And also in this game is uh, my buddy Ricky, whose gamer tag is BeanieFit. I'm not sure what his uh, Spartan ID is in this video, um, but if, you, if you've been watching the Battlefield 3 videos, you'll uh, see Ricky making an appearance in there. Uh, that was actually him right there, using the hard light shield, or no, not the hard light shield, uh, that was someone else. But, good example of the lack of usefulness, I guess, for the hard light shield. I did use the hard light shield later in the night as a Spartan, and, you know, I don't think it's very useful. The only time I saw it make any sort of difference was, um, I forget what map it was, but, um, there was about three players that were huddled in a corner. Uh, one of them had the hard light shield up, and the other two behind him had their shotguns out. So, um, pretty much no matter, and they had their shooting coordinated so that if any flood got near them, the flood were unable to kill them unless they got an awkward angle on them, and also they were able to coordinate their shotgun fire so that there was no lag between shots for the most part. Um, so here we are trying to find this last guy. I was having trouble seeing him on my screen. I don't even know where he is. I don't even get close over there. Looks like someone was able to use the thrusters to effect in order to get him. Uh, I hate these round turnaround times. They take so long. So I should be coming in back in as a Spartan. Uh, I know that I was using Promethean Vision. Yep. So yes. So here's some more Promethean Vision. It is. I think Promethean Vision is my favorite armor ability as a Spartan. I just think it's so invaluable to be able to see where the flood is coming from, even if it is only for a couple seconds. Like right here, you know, when it's eerily quiet and you're starting to get a little nervous, you can throw it on really quickly, see if there's any in your relative vicinity. And the other extremely valuable aspect of this, which not a lot of players know yet, it seems, is that if you are using Promethean Vision, anyone that is using active camouflage shows up with a light blue outline around them. So even if the player is invisible, if the Flood's trying to sneak up on you or he's camping in a corner, if you throw on that Promethean Vision, you will see him no problem. And then it usually scares the crap out of them because they had no idea that you could see them. Uh, I'm not sure if you actually end up seeing that in this video at all, but there were a few games. Oh, see, look at that. He just kind of. That was funny. He just threw on the active camo there for no reason. Um, maybe if I stand very still and throw on my active camo, he won't see me. Uh, so here I am rocking as the Flood. Um, see, I do decide to use the Promethean Vision because it is sort of late in the game, and I want to be able to see where this last guy is. It turns out being the teammate that was right next to me. And I got a lucky jump on that one right there and somehow pulled that off. I don't know if I can do that ever again. Uh, so here we come back in. I think I am running um, Spartan again. I think I might have active... No, no, no. I'm still using Promethean Vision on this one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, the last video I did use the active camo and it was a pretty good advantage. But I think I'm just so used to using the Promethean Vision that when I'm not able to have that extra edge over them, especially later in the game when they're all trying to gang up on you, I think there's a there's at least a actually it might be coming up uh, this round. I'm able to use it to great effect uh, and able being able to cover myself and see which direction they're coming from. Uh, it does get a little wacky with the uh, thrusters. It is trying to kind of hard to key in on them. And I think. Um, this day I was I lowered my uh, sensitivity a little bit because I was starting to I had to readjust a little to Halo I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed at this point so the I was using I think 10 I had maxed out my game sensitivity here I'm trying to do a little something different um, I'm trying not to kind of get stuck in a corner uh, as um, Spartans uh, often do toward the end of the round. I managed to do a cool little juke here around Mouse, and then I turn back around, take that guy, and take that guy for a nice triple. 
And oh, just missed the quadruple. I was a little disappointed on that one. So here we go, finished first place. Yay! So that's the end of the round. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the uh, footage. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought. Thank you.